Welcome back. Uh, today I want to take a little bit of time and work on uh, the difference between using formulas that have relative cell references versus those that are using absolute cell references. What we mean when we talk about a relative cell reference is a cell reference that will change when it is copied into a different cell, and that is when you're putting in a formula. Right here we have a spreadsheet that kind of talks about budgeting out your expenses depending upon how much income you make uh, and if all your expenses are based off percentages of those incomes. So what I have right here, this is $61,000 in earnings and I'm going to assume that approximately once I take out all my deductions everything uh, I'm going to end up paying about 27 percent on that. So I'll put in a formula that takes 0.27 times B10 and just hit enter. Now I used a relative cell reference. That's that B10 right there. And you have to understand Excel basically reads that as one cell above the cell that it's currently in. And because of that I can now use my fill handle to copy that formula over to the right. And each time it is just multiplying the cell directly above it times the 27 percent. So I'll just do another one here for my net income. And my net income would be my income minus my taxes. So now I have my net income. And I can copy that over to the right also. So now our expenses are going to be based off of that net income. But the key here is that they are a percentage. And that percentage is not something that we're typing in. It's something that is stored in a different portion of the spreadsheet. It'll be really helpful if you think of it this way. We have two sections in our spreadsheet. We have the section up here, which gives you the percentages for the expenses, and then we have the section down here that's actually calculating these amounts. All right. Now keep that in mind because Usually, any time you create a formula that references a cell in a different section, you're going to be using what's called an absolute reference. All right, now I'll show you an example of it. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and take my net income, which is B12, and I'll take it times the housing uh, percentage up there, which is in B2. Now, I just use a relative reference for that and I'll hit enter. So here's how much I should be paying for rent or for my mortgage. But because I used a relative reference, when I copy that out to the right, I get nothing. Okay? Here's the key. Again, it is referencing cells relative to where the original formula was. So now you can see this blank green area up here. It's referencing a cell that is in a different part of the spreadsheet. So what we want to do is we're going to change this. That B2 up there is an absolute reference. And the quick way to do this is just press F4. And it'll put the little dollar symbols uh, in front of the column and in front of the row number. And now I can hit Enter. And when I copy this over, it keeps going back to that B2. It's absolute. Okay, so this time I'll do the same thing. I'll take my net income, which is B12, and I will take it times the percentage up at the top, but this time I'll go ahead and type B3 and then just press my F4 key and hit enter, and I can do the same thing for the others. And my absolute reference carries over. 